I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some crisps from the UK that we discovered in our Cost Plus World Market store. And we've never seen this brand, Taste of Game. And we're not sure how well known it is in the UK. But it has three different flavors. Which flavors we got here? We have wild boar, we have pheasant, and wild duck. And each one has another flavor with it. So the wild boar's got apple. Yes, wild boar and apple. We have smoked pheasant with wild mushroom, and wild duck with plum sauce. Sounds pretty fancy. It does sound fancy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, something I noticed, it's like after we bought these and we put the bags aside and we had them in the paper shopping bag that we take home, I think, hey, got a little, kind of oil, oily spot on the bag. It's like, kind of noticed the same thing with these bags. I don't know if we, it was just the lot that we got. Can I see what I mean here? Yeah, we'll see when we taste them. I feel like we've been having bad luck with chips and crisps lately with them going bad but I think we're still within the okay date here so <laughs> okay. maybe they're just extra greasy I don't know okay so as far as the order that we go in are we gonna go by color are we gonna go by the size of the animal and up what how would you like to do this yeah it's, it's tough to tell because I was thinking oh maybe go with the lightest strength animal <laughs> <laughs> flavor wise but I got to think now have you ever had any of these like as an actual meat have you ever tasted them wild boar pheasant or, or duck. duck I can't say I've ever had any of the three I've heard that duck can be a little gamey a little greasy I've heard that too yeah greasy and gamey maybe that's maybe that's why <laughs> Now, I have had pheasant before, but it's been many, many years. Okay, I had a Cornish hen once. Does that count? Mm, close, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not close enough. I think pheasants are quite a bit bigger, aren't they? Never had one. Just thinking of the one I've, ones I've seen around here. But. I just remember the Cornish hen I had. It was like really bony and seemed like <laughs> a lot of work for a little bit of meat. <laughs> I just remember my mom making pheasant creole. That was a dish that she made. And so it was very highly, it had a lot of seasoning in it. So I don't know that. Oh, your mom made that? Yeah, back when I was a kid. I thought your mom was more of a shake and bake kind of guy. <laughs> I'm going no, by what you told me. You, you, you said, oh yeah, my mom like rice aroni mix and shake and bake. And like, what, you? Well, those were just some of my favorite things as a kid. <laughs> okay, great. So I don't know, with, with the strong flavorings of the sauce, I'm thinking is that kind of covering up a, a gamey flavor? I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll find out. I mean, it sounds interesting, the the other flavors they have with them. So, yeah, yeah, looking forward to this. And each one has some information on the back. So let's go with pheasant first. Okay. So this one says, management of hedges, fields, and woodland for pheasants benefits threatened species such as dormouse, yellow hammer, and gray partridge. Pheasant is a sweet and rich tasting meat. Our smoked pheasant and wild mushroom crisps are seasoned with smoked salt and the savory earthiness of wild mushroom to bring out the meaty flavor. And these are made with 100% British potatoes, sliced with their skins on and batch cooked to produce very tasty crisps. Nice. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying these out. You okay. want to do the honors and sure. open the bag? They're, they're pretty decent sized bags too. Yeah. Um, 150 grams, 5.3 ounces. Yeah, so. Well, that, I see they have like a deer on there too. I wonder if... Venison? Yeah, I wonder if they had a venison flavor too that oh, we boy. didn't have available. Or is the white wild boar, so it's almost like the ghost <laughs> of the dead animals. Oh. Just the same. Trying to keep it, keep it light, you know, upbeat. Hmm, that smells different. <laughs> I didn't interpret how, that. How would you describe it? <laughs> kind of earthy? Yeah, kind of earthy. Now this one has, oh, this has the wild mushroom, so it could be coming from the mushroom, I don't know. Mm. Or the pheasant. We do, we both like mushrooms, so that's a good one.
That's really savory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Savory, I'm, I'm tasting the mushroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, having not had pheasant for many years, I don't know that I would identify the pheasant. That's not bad. But they're very flavorful. Mm-hmm. Very savory. Yeah. I'll pick these up again. Um, yeah, not bad. They're very light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To me, are you tasting more of the pheasant or are you tasting more of the mushroom? I think I'm tasting more of the mushroom, but maybe that's because I can identify it easier yeah. than, say, pheasant. No, those are good. Yeah. Like yeah. What stands out to me is, like I said, flavor of the mushroom. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. It's just different, you know, for uh, the crisps that we usually have or chips. and Right. You know, like we've said, we don't really get a lot of meat-flavored crisps and chips here at all. No. Maybe occasionally a chicken. Yeah. We, we had a, a viewer send us KFC... Mm -hmm. flavored crisps those were really good yeah although a lot of that is the herbs and spices too i'm trying to think we've had um some beef flavored oh. crisps that were sent to us as well and those are those were very savory as well yes and something else we found at the same store with the steak flavored crisps those mm -hmm. were good yeah those were good yeah pork flavored mm -hmm. so. yeah this is something different so you want to try the wild duck next sure you want to read the this is the same Spiel on the back, or is it something no, different? No, it's a little different. It says several species of wild duck breed in the UK. Their populations vastly increase as great numbers migrate to the UK over winter to escape the harsher conditions across northern Europe. We have that too. We actually have a lot of migratory ducks that come through here. Rich and full of flavor, wild duck has a delicious meaty taste. To create the taste of duck and plum sauce, our wild duck and plum sauce Crisps have been lightly seasoned with flavors of ginger, star anise, onion, and chives. Hmm. Nice. Again, made with 100% British potatoes. That sounds like an interesting combination. Uh, that does sound like an interesting combination. But yeah, you mentioned duck being kind of strong. What's that smell of you? What do you think? I can't tell. I mean, I don't even know. I feel like they smell kind of similar. To me, this smells slightly sweeter. I guess it would with the star anise and stuff in there. But On a trip that my mom and I took to China on river cruise, my mom got Peking ducks. Mm -hmm. And I remember she didn't care for it. Really? Yeah. I think, again, because it's on the stronger side. Hmm. You, you try that. Kind of have a hard time. That's really different. Yeah. Not as savory as the other, but you are getting some of those sweet flavors. Mm hmm. What's in there besides the star anise? Ginger. Ginger, onion, and chives. And the plum. That would give us some sweetness as well. Yeah. Hmm. I can kind of taste the ginger. I feel like there's an undertone, kind of a gamey undertone to it, though. It's interesting. Underneath some of the other spices. Yeah. I mean, I, I like it. It's just I'm having a hard time kind of identifying some of the flavors in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not overly seasoned. So. Yeah, it's really different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't say I can taste every single one of those flavors in here, but I feel like I am getting a little bit of the sweetness from the plum as well as the star anise. Okay. But then there's kind of a gamey, meaty undertone to it as well. So, so far of the two, which one do you prefer? I think I prefer this one. What about you? I think it's a little more, well, it's more on the savory side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't mind I sweetness like in potato chips, like, uh, what is it? The uh, sweet chili 
potato chips. Mm-hmm. I like those. But yeah, those are nice. Something about the savory flavor of those. Um, the pheasant. Yeah. It's really nice. I like that one. And the mushrooms. Of course, the mushrooms are going to be very savory as well. So last up, we have wild boar and apple. Okay. The ghost of the wild boar is not among the animals <laughs> here. The packaging. You want to share the spiel? Sure. So this says wild boar were native to the UK until 700 years ago. They have now made a return to some UK woodlands. Wild boar meat is packed with savory flavor, like a cross between free-range pork and roast venison. To recreate this taste and balance it with the sweetness of a Cox's apple, we have flavored our wild boar and apple crisps with the seasoning using smoked salt, paprika, apple, and rosemary. Yes. Sounds like an interesting combo, too. No yeah, the roasted. first one, I think, didn't have as many. So just mentioned the mushroom, but not a lot of other spices. Too. No rosemary. Again, I smell very similar to me. I'm not picking up real distinct. Yes. To me, sense. this smells very similar to the pheasant. I thought they all smelled very similar. Well, I thought this had more of a stronger scent than these I two. I guess so. Boop. <laughs> mm. Okay. Definitely has a stronger taste, I think. These two other ones, or maybe it's just the chip I had itself. Um, that seem to have more flavor to it too. Um, I just I hit I got a bit of that apple flavoring. Oh. I don't know if it was just me. It was what I got. Um, try it again. Hmm. See, maybe it was a fluke. You know, the first one I had. Just happen to have extra, extra flavor. So that second one wasn't as flavorful. Had the same flavor, just not as intense. Not as strong. I was gonna say because it didn't taste. The one I got didn't necessarily taste stronger than mm. the other two we had. That's kind of a nice flavor too. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Can you taste the rosemary? Hmm. Maybe slightly. For some reason, the apple is what stood out to me. Hmm. With a bit of meat flavor. Again, I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, that's pork. Because they said it was similar to pork and venison, I think. Yeah. But it didn't really jump out to me as pork. But hmm. Still good. Hmm. Yeah. I like me a lot. Okay. We've tried <laughs> all three bags, and we have the unwritten rule when we're grocery shopping and we're looking at potato chips and crisps. Oh, if it has a matted bag, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the good stuff, and each one of these came in a matted bag. Mm-hmm. Okay, young lady, can you rank them? I'm, I'm going to have to take another pass at the other two. Hmm. Just, I'm tasting a lot of different flavors going on in that one. Hmm. Hmm. I should be taking swigs of water <laughs> between. Now what I should do is get the mask and have you do a taste test. <laughs> Can you identify which is which? Okay, I think I've made my decision. I'm gonna go. This one first, pheasant with the wild mushroom. This one, number two, wild boar and apple. And last would be the duck. Okay. How about you? That's my order. You? Okay, taking your lead, I'm gonna cleanse the palate first. <laughs> okay. Wild duck. Wild pheasant. 
I mean, well, well boring. Okay, that pheasant. This way, well, boar, oh. well, duck, pheasant last. Okay. To me, these. So, totally different arrangement than. Yes. Or totally different ranking from me. Yeah. Totally different. To me, these, well, boar just have more flavor to it. Granted, I liked them all, but I just thought flavor wise, strongest uh, and the lightest, when with the, the pheasant. I like them all. These will be gone soon. Yeah. I mean, I definitely eat them all, but I just felt like there was a little bit more sweetness than I care for going on in these. They were still pretty good, but these were a closer tie for me. Yeah. So let us know in the comments, if you're from the UK, do you recognize this brand? I see it says they're from Marford Mill Rosset Wrexham. I believe that's how you pronounce it in the UK. I hate to say it, but I think I was one that noticed these in the store and I pointed them out to you. And at a glance, I thought it said Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. <laughs> I thought it was him because we've seen Game of Thrones branded beer, ale. And yeah, something about the writing kind of reminds me of it. Yeah, <laughs> and with the, with the different animals, you know, we got the yeah. at least the stag. Right, so tonight <laughs> when we watch uh, House of Dragons, I'm sure we'll be snacking on these. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> so, yeah, it was kind of a nice find, and uh, when we spotted these, it was the first time we ever saw them before, so I don't know if it's one of those promotional things, like, matter of fact, when we saw these, I don't think we saw those rancid <laughs> Spanish... Friday, the Friday crisps. crisps. Yeah, those were gone, and it was in the same area, so I it, where they kind of have promotional things rather than their areas where they have the stuff that they have all the time. So I have a feeling it was something special that they just brought in, and that's going to be it. So I'm glad we picked them up. Yeah. So I think I picked up the first bag, and then you came back, and we picked up more, and they were actually on sale. So yeah, I think they're trying to get rid of them. But. I'm just. Pleasantly surprised they didn't have that rancid oil taste those other <laughs> chips had. Because when looking at the oil stains. Yeah, it made us a little nervous. But yeah. Just yeah. a little hesitant that these did not disappoint at all. You have a chance yep. to try these. They haven't tried before. I might want to give it a go. If you like crisps, especially savory ones, um, these would be great ones to try. Yeah. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you find out when our next video is posted. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.